If you like this video and channel, click on the like button and subscribe button. Also, if you want to have notification when new video released, click on the notified button. Welcome in a video where you can see what is FX trend view in your HMI and how to work with this trend. As first we create some basic code in PLC to generate trend values. We use two values. One is X value of the trend and second is Y value of the trend. Okay, here we have some code to generate these values. And also we create functionality where when we click on the button to zeroing to clear these values, we clear the values of X trend and Y trend. Okay, this is code. Now we can go to create the visualization. First we add new device. For this we use RT HMI application. Okay. Now we have device in our hardware configuration. As first, we want to insert our Ethernet card, network card, sorry. Okay. We define the Ethernet address. Our PC have address 95. Okay, save the project, go back to the network view and create the HMI connection. Here we choose HMI connection and connect our visualization with PLC. Okay, save and download the changes to the PLC, hardware and software changes. First we search for the PLC. Okay. He is on the network, click on it and load. <clears throat> load and finish the download. Okay, save the project. And now we go to the our HMI application to create our trend view, FX trend view. Okay, we change the name, for example, FX trend screen and in your toolbox menu and in the control option, you have FX trend, this one icon, just drag and drop to your screen. Ship. Okay, at first we change the resolution of our HMI application. To the display to the display resolution, we use this one resolution. Okay, save and go back on the screen. Okay, little bit zoom out. Yep. Okay, we make every trend view window bigger, and now insert some buttons. Okay, we use this button and also to see the trend value, we insert IO file. Yep. Okay, we alignment these two objects. Okay, how we can see in our code. To start the generate value, we use this one static tag of the function block 10. We create the static tags. One is structure, structure, trend values, where it's trend value 1 and trend value 2. These two values we use for showing the actual trend value, the variable value of the trend. And also these two values we use for the trend. Generate value one, generate value two is text for the starting to generate the values. Okay. We activate it by this one button. And also 
we create another buttons to use functionality for clearing the values of the trend value 1 and trend value 2. When we press this button, we clear the values of the X position of the trend and with another button we clear the values of the another trend y position another trend value sorry okay now we can create these buttons and io files yep and also we create one button for a stopping runtime application stop rt create an event where after we release this button we stop runtime okay okay first button will be wait a little bit zoom it first button will be generate value one second will be generate <coughs> value 2 and this one will be clear value 1 and clear value 2 okay now we can create the HMI tags external HMI tags and link these tags to the HMI okay first will be generate value one of the type bool second generate value two also of data type bool this, this will be external text here we insert the HMI connection <coughs> with PLC and here link the tag of the PLC we go to the DB10 and here we have generate value 1 and generate value 2 as acquisition cycle we use 100 millisecond okay <coughs> then we want to link generated value 1 and generated value 2 is the values of the trend this one of data type real okay real real connection is done and link this text trend value one and trend value two also acquisition cycle 100 milliseconds and at least clear while one and clear while two also here in our data block okay okay tag is done now for the showing our values on the trend epic trend view we use historical data where we create data logs for example for with name data trend view log i don't know storage location will be rdb file for now we use 1000 data records and patch will be C logs okay and we use circular log logging method okay here we create x trend value and y trend value and link this value x trend value will be generated value 1 and y thread value will be generated value 2 acquisition mode we use six cyclic and logging cyclic cycle we use 
one second. We want to <clears throat> make a lock every second. Okay, save the project and go back on the screen. First, we link the create HMI tags to our button objects and IO field objects. Okay, when we click on the generate value one, sorry, when we release generate value one object, for now button, we invert bit generate value one and if generate value one is true, then the button will light on the green. Okay, same for the second button. Here we insert generate value two and same in animation. Okay, save the project. For clear value one, we use function press and set bit while k pressed. When this k is pressed, then we clear value one. And same we use for clear value two. Okay, and at least we insert the generated value in the first IO file. We use it only to output the values. Okay, and same for the second. Okay, also we allegement this text to make it more pretty. We use horizontal horizontal alignment centers. Okay, save. And now we click on the trend FX trend view object and insert here our historical data log. You can insert in the trends option of the FX trend view and here you can see <clears throat> data source option, we click on it, we use logging tags and as the x value we use data trend x trend value and for y values we use y trend value. Okay, update cycle for both is one second, yes, okay. You can also change the style of the trend I don't know we use blue blue color of the line with width three also we want to see the points where the value are changed for example with width five and also we want to have black points for this you need to click on the checkbox extended color set yep and now you can see now it's black okay save the project you can also i don't know change the change the color of your x x x axis for example to red Sorry, this is Y axis, as you can see, and there is many, many, you can here make many changes with your trend. Okay, now we just wanted to try if our configuration works fine. For this, we click on the start running time on the PC and check if everything works. Okay, now we are in runtime and we can try to start the generate value one and value two okay first we click generate value one and generate value two 
and we can see values generated by PLC and these values we can see on the our trend view FX trend view okay this looks fine and how you can see our settings are fine we have blue trend value line with black dots of the values if you want to see the value of for example this one point you click on this icon and zoom it you can zoom it more and more and this is a little bit problem of this trend fx of this fx trend views because you can see the values only when you move with this cross and go on the point and see by these lines what is the value of the x and epsilon this is a little bit not very good but better than nothing okay we can go back and check how it works for now it looks fine okay now we try to clear values 1 and clear value 2 we stop the generating of the values okay and <clears throat> now if we clear the values we clear the actual values this one this and this but we don't clear the rdb data log values this is mean when we now clear the values we go again from the 0 x and 0 y value but these values we still see because is historical trend Okay, now we can show it. We clear the values. Okay, how you can see, we go back to the zero values, and when we start the generating, we go again from the zero values. But this is only the values from the PLC was zeroing, zeroing, cleared, cleared, cleared. Sorry, but no the historical trend values. For this, you need to use clear function, clear lock, which you can see, for example, in next videos, if I have a time. Okay, and this is, I think, all to the trends, how you can see everything works and you can change design, design of the trend how you want. For example, you use red line and blue dots. Okay. This is all for this video. Thank you for watching the video where you see how to work and what is FX trend view. Thank you for watching and goodbye.